Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. In this week's tutorial, I'm showing you how to change the Twitter icon to the X icon in the Divi social follow module. So let's take a look, it's really easy. So go ahead and hop over to the blog post. You will need to be there for the code that we're going to copy. So you can copy um, the CSS and jQuery from this tutorial and the link will be in the description if you're on YouTube. All right, so we're not even gonna talk about it. Everyone knows, you know, Twitter rebranded, so let's just jump right into it. Um, the first step will be to add the Font Awesome CDN to Divi. Now, you may be wondering what I was wondering, why do we need this if Divi already has integration with Font Awesome? Well, they kind of do and they kind of don't. So for something like this, where we're using a pseudo class or like if we were using like changing the a bullet checklist like we have another tutorial about for those kind of things we need the CDN in order to pull in the icon so that would be the first step so add the font awesome CDN it's really easy I have it right here for you okay and to clarify they've already added the X logo to font awesome which is awesome and so we can just copy that and you can see here we're just putting it right here we're putting it in theme options I'll go there now so when you're in theme options go up here to integration and make sure you know these are on and then the very first one just paste it right there and then save the changes that's step number one now you have to have the social follow module so do that obviously I have this set up here on a page I was just I just added it and it adds Facebook and Twitter. I am going to make it bigger just so you can see it better. So you can change the, the icon font size. Okay, so whatever, something like that. So this is where we will be working. So go to wherever you have the social media follow, maybe in your header or your footer, theme builder template. And that's step number two, make it just having it, okay? Um, so here we go. Now, like I said, on Find Awesome, they already have added the X icon. You know, you can click this if you want to see it. But here it is, you know, X Twitter, okay? Um, here you can see at the top, the Unicode is E61B. That is what we want, okay? That is what we want. So what we are doing is replacing the, that code, uh, the existing one, with the new one. And then we're saying Font Family font awesome six brands and we know it's brands because when we're over on here um, it says brands somewhere right here all right so just copy this code now this is CSS so in your theme options you would go to the general tab and just paste it in your theme options right here so custom CSS in your theme options is where that goes and step four changing the background color. Well, we no longer have this blue color. It's actually just 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, okay? So that's black, that's, that's the new color. So go ahead and go into the individual you know, icon here for Twitter. Click on background, and that's like pre-populated there. So you can just click black, okay? And by the way, that Facebook one bothers me. While I'm at it, let's look that up. Yeah, here we go. The new blue Facebook color, which is not even new anymore, but try copying that. All right, go to the Facebook one. Yeah, that actually looks a lot better. Okay, now that I've done that, okay, I'm going to just save and exit here. Uh, you don't need to do anything else in the builder except change the background color. And there you can see it's already showing. We exited the builder. We already have the code here that's changing it, and we have the CDN and integrations. Now, watch what happens here when I hover over these. Follow on Facebook, see that little tool tip, and then follow on Twitter. So, one last step, we're going to change that. So that's step number five, replace the tool tip. Okay, so that is some jQuery, I have it right here. Just copy that and go back to your theme options and this is jQuery so it's gonna go just put it right here below where you put the CDN right paste it there and save changes and I'm going to refresh alright so when I hover over here 
follow on X. There you go. The tutorial is done. You've done it. Really simple. You can go and just like copy this here in each of your sites and then you know this little snippet here and you'll be done. And you know if they change it back all you have to do is go remove it. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so we do tutorials like this every week, so it would be great if you would subscribe. That actually helps me, helps more people find my content. And when you see this question come up, you know, like I always say, uh, share this link. Share the link to this tutorial, and that will help someone know how to do this and get the word out. All right, we'll see you all in the next video.